Today, GPS technology is everywhere. We cannot even think outside of GPS. This technology has been ingrained so deeply into our society that it is used in finance and banking, in transportation and in our everyday life. The versatility of the GPS technology is within its simplicity. Imagine a satellite 20,000 kilometers out at the space sending down a signal to your receiver and you are getting your position on the earth. But here lies the problem in its simplicity. Anybody with a nefarious intention can change the signal or spoof the signal. Today the world is a very dangerous place. More so if you are flying from one continent to another. Airplane ships, they rely on the GPS technology to tell them where they are on the earth. In recent years, there have been a lot of GPS jamming and spoofing incidents, especially in and around the hostile border area. If you don't know what is a GPS jamming and spoofing, then I made a video on that and you can check it out here. The link is in the description. Now this jamming and spoofing is done by the state and non-state actors, mainly for the security reasons and sometimes for nefarious purposes. And this has exposed the fragility of the system, threatening the flight safety and the operational integrity on a global scale. What if we could have a system that is immune to the electronic warfare like jamming and spoofing? We can take a leaf from the forgotten history of the early mariners who braved the high seas and navigated across the globe. And the answer lies in the celestial navigation. Humans have been relying on stars for millennia. Prehistorical humans noticed star patterns and used them for tracking various seasons. Polynesian master navigators memorized stars to sail across the vast ocean. Babylonian, Egyptian and Greek astronomers used stars as early as 600 BCE. But the stars are good only in the night time and we cannot see them in the day. Yet they are always there. All you need is the right tool to find them. In 2016, a French company Sodern, a subsidiary of Ariane Group, took on a task to design and develop a daytime star tracker. The aim is to create a star tracker which operates in the Earth's atmosphere even in the daytime and which can be used to determine the position with a high degree of accuracy without depending on global navigation satellites. To give you a context, Sodan is already an industry leader in the Star Tracker, which are used in the spacecraft for navigation. All they have to do now is to adopt a way to look at the stars even in broad daylight. After years of development and trials, on 27th May 2025, they have launched Astradia, a groundbreaking endo-atmospheric star tracker designed for aircraft navigation without relying on GNSS like GPS, GLONASS or Galileo. It pairs with an inertial navigation system to deliver precise attitude and positioning data. So how they did it? Astradia uses algorithms refined from the Sodan's space-based star trackers. These algorithms can distinguish faint starlight from the overwhelming brightness of the daytime sky by filtering out background noise and isolating specific star patterns. The tracker is equipped with optics capable of detecting stars even when scattered sunlight would normally drown them out. This includes specialized filters and sensors that enhance contrast and reduce glare. Astradia works in tandem with inertial navigation system. While the INS provides continuous motion tracking, Astradia periodically corrects any drift by locking onto known stellar positions, ensuring long-term accuracy without GNSS. All these are packed into a compact size under 3 kg weight. I take a moment to thank Sodan for allowing me to use their content for making this video. So what are the advantages of Astradia? With a pointing accuracy of few arc seconds, equivalent to 1 meter over 70 km. It recalibrates the natural drift of inertial system and gives better accuracy than traditional GPS system. As it does not send out or receive any electronic signals, it is completely proof of any electronic jamming or spoofing or any external interference. But dear mariners, no need to rejoice. 
yet Astadia is specifically designed for aircraft military and civil both it does have some limitations firstly the equipment need a minimum altitude of 6 km or more above the earth surface why so that it can be out of the densest atmosphere which can cause a refraction error secondly the angle of rotation of the slew angle of astadia is 3 degree per second anything more an astadia will lose track of the stars it is important to maintain a lock on the stars during a dynamic flight condition or when the host platform like an aircraft or drone is maneuvering thirdly the equipment needs a clear view of the sky without the sun or even the earth blocking its view yes the sun and earth exclusion angle is 30 degree that means the sun or earth must be 30 degree below the visual horizon of the star tracker lastly another limiting factor is its operating temperature which is 0 degree to 30 degree celsius but hey look at the positive side in the absence of gns system or in case of spoofing and jamming you can still fly maintaining your aerial route without deviating to danger zone ain't that good enough i have no doubt that this system is going to revolutionize the aerial navigation and make it much safer given enough time and funding who knows sodan might even develop a star tracker for us the mariners i urge you to head to the sodan.com to know more about this game changing star tracker do you know that a uh, new quantum navigation system using the earth's own magnetic field is being developed if you want to see this quantum navigation system in my next video make sure that you subscribe If you want to know how we can find our position without using GPS then you should watch this video next. So friends ask questions and always be curious. I'll see you around.